That question actually just really got me angry. <laughs> I don't know why, but that one did. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. So I'm going to be doing a Q&A today based off of questions you guys have asked on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's just Steffi Murado. Make sure you go follow me over there because I do keep up daily on my story and things like that. And you can be involved in Q and A's like this. So I'm in the barn right now. Mike is actually doing the barn. Mike, will you pop over here for a second? Show your face. Cause he's not behind the camera today. <laughs> That's his pooper scooper. So basically he's going to be doing the barn today and tonight I should say, because I'm 38 weeks pregnant and basically I can have my baby any day now and I need to get content out for you guys. I've been trying to stockpile some content like I said in my last video, because when I actually have the baby, I will be on maternity leave from my job and I wanna be able to make sure that I'm keeping myself busy outside of also taking care of a baby. So I wanted to make sure that I have content for you guys ready to be edited and I likely won't be filming that much when I have the baby. So I figured I not got a bunch of content, but in the midst of this, I've kind of been not like fully MIA on YouTube, but just not here a lot. So. I thought it'd be a good time to just sit down, talk to you guys, and see what questions you guys have for me. And I did ask you guys this on Instagram a couple weeks ago, forgot to do the Q&A, got lost, and I was like, no, I need to sit down, I need to do this Q&A with them. And we can go from here, we can just show you guys more videos, because I know you guys have a lot of questions. The big one being my gender reveal. So we'll talk about that today, but after this long-winded intro, I just need to get through it and we will start with our first question. But before we start with our first question, make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel down below and make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up because we are so close to having this baby and yeah, it's gonna be great. So I have done an in-depth Q&A that was more like on the personal pregnancy baby side on my second channel. So if you guys wanna see that, you guys can definitely go to that channel. It's always linked in my description down below. And you guys can have more of those questions there, but I'm not gonna avoid the baby questions like on here, just like some of them that are just kind of asking like when's the due date, yada, yada, just so you guys, I feel like I just wanna be caught up with where I'm at right now. So first question is when is the due date of the baby? So my due date is actually October 9th. So when you guys are seeing this, I'm actually just like maybe two weeks away from my due date. So very close. Also another really fun thing when you guys are watching this is actually my birthday. So I am 27, not today, but when you guys are actually watching this, my birthday is in two days. So I'm filming this two days prior. So yeah, I decided it'd be fun to post this on my birthday. Now the next question that I get a lot is, can the horses tell you're pregnant? Can the animals tell that I'm pregnant? And not necessarily, well, not that I have necessarily noticed, if I was to pick it up on any, 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 any of the animals, it may be Lexi, she's a bit more clingy, but I feel like none of the animals really have like treated me any different. So I don't know, they don't really seem to notice that I'm pregnant, but I'm not sure. So next question that I got, why do you have so many horses if you don't even ride them? So I think this question is really funny because I physically cannot ride my horses right now. So. That's why I have so many horses because I cannot ride them right now. I do ride them. Um, and actually just to touch on this, I do not like to post riding videos on my channel. It's just something that I don't like to do because riding is a big hobby of mine and YouTube, I just like to keep them separate. Sometimes I'll bring you guys on trail rides and things like that with me. But when I'm riding, I do not like to film. I like to just be in the moment. I like to ride. So that's why you guys really don't see many videos of me riding because I just like to ride and typically when I ride I'm with my friends, I'm with Mike, so I don't wanna have a camera like shoved down their face and I like to just be in the moment. So that being said, I do ride all of my horses. The only horse that I don't ride is Louie and he's just here as retirement and it's not a criteria if you have horses to ride your horses, just so everybody knows. And I think that's a good principle just to put out there because I always like to advocate for animals. And sometimes horses get tossed around a lot because people think that their only job and their only reason that they should be here is to be ridden. So just need to put that out there that that's not their only purpose here in life. But anyways, I do ride them all. Primarily though, Blaze is my horse. He's always ridden Blaze the entirety that we've had Blaze. I will sometimes even get on Blaze. You guys have seen, I use Blaze as like a prop a lot of times in my videos because he's super bomb proof. You guys have seen that many times. You guys know that I trail ride Trigger a lot. He's gated, I like to trail ride him. Cash, I have a whole barrel racing journey with Cash, so it's not like I'm not riding him. And June, she is in training staying legged up so that I can get back to riding her. So I definitely ride all of my horses. 
Um, and I will continue to ride them after the pregnancy is over. But yeah, it's been nine months since I've been pregnant. So I haven't ridden in nine months. That is correct. So <laughs> we're going to move on from that. But I just wanted to touch on that because it's not a requirement to ride your horses if you have horses. It's, the requirement is to keep your horses healthy and give them their needs. That's the requirement. So let's move on from that. I like seeing this question because it's fun. Um, are we going to get the baby a pony? So I don't know if I'll actually get the baby a pony. In my, what I envision is that I would maybe get the baby like a mini horse because I want a mini horse eventually, but I don't know if I'll ever get a pony because ponies sometimes are like more <laughs> mean than like horses. They just typically have like a more of an attitude, but Blaze is kind of my ideal horse that when the baby is not a baby and ready to ride would go to Blaze because he's super bomb proof and he's short and he's stout and he wants to be slow. He is more woe than go. So that's kind of what I would be looking for with a horse or pony, whatever we want to call it um, for my child. But the mini horse sounds really cute to me because I've always wanted a mini. So that would be the only thing would be like a mini, maybe like a rideable mini, but I don't want to have like the child on a mini for very long. I think it'd be best to get them to a normal sized horse as quicker as possible, but obviously within reason, but Blaze will be the horse for that. So we probably will not get a pony. <laughs> Next question is, am I ever gonna sell my horses or my animals? So the answer is no, I don't have any plans to sell them or get rid of them in my near future. No, not at all. Nothing is gonna change. Everything that is the way that it is now is gonna stay the same. I don't have a reason to get rid of them. Um, I've touched on this before. The only like animal that I've thought about possibly rehoming would be possibly, I keep saying possibly because it's not a fact, would be Cash just because he has so much potential. And I don't know if I wanna do like the whole barrel racing thing. So he is like a pretty good barrel racing prospect. He's had a lot of barrel racing training. So I don't know, that'd be the only horse I would maybe consider at this point possibly rehoming because of his potential and he's still a really young horse and honestly he can go in many different directions so that would possibly be the reason why i would maybe consider rehoming one of my horses um and that would just be cash just because he has a lot of potential so that's not definite not it's not happening but if it was to happen that would be the reason why so we're gonna knock out a couple of these questions um that just relate to the baby so we can kind of move on to more fun questions but i keep seeing a lot of baby questions when are you going to film a gender reveal? Can we see the nursery? What's the name of the baby? So gender reveal is coming. And based on the video, when I filmed all my animals guessing the gender of the baby, I asked you guys if you guys wanted to see the gender reveal on this channel or if you guys wanted to see it on my second channel, my vlog channel, because I wanna make sure that you guys are comfortable with that because the second channel is more so for things like that, more so regarding the pregnancy and such. But it was overwhelming that you guys wanted to see the gender reveal on this channel. So we will have the gender reveal on this channel. So very, very soon you guys will find out the gender of the baby. And also you guys will be able to see the nursery, but that will be on my vlog channel. I will not be putting it on this channel. So if you do wanna see more baby pregnancy related things, you will have to go to my vlog channel. So that will be there. And that also goes along with the name. You will eventually find the name of the baby out, but that will be on my second channel on the vlog channel. So I just wanna get those out of the way because you guys are asking a lot of baby questions and I'm actually going to be doing a Q&A on that channel too. Again, because there's so many baby related questions because obviously we are so far into the pregnancy and you guys really wanna know about that, but I'm not gonna put that on this channel because I have told you guys many times that this channel will stay primarily just focused on the animals and such, but I know you guys are interested in a lot of this. So we're just gonna kinda of sprinkle some here, but most of it will be on that channel too. So this next question is kinda of funny. It says, how's the grass growing? Haha, <laughs> I had to ask. You guys should know by now, I am obsessed with the grass and how it's always growing and it is growing beautifully. My back pasture where we had to spread out all that dirt is growing so nicely. The grass is very well this year. So I'm very happy about that. Next question says, miss you on the channel. Do you miss writing Trigger in June? How is June? So I miss you guys so much too. That's why I'm excited to just be filming this content for you guys and have this for you. I promise that this channel isn't going anywhere and the pregnancy has just been more tiring than I thought it was. We just had so many more things that we had to do. And once I get into the rhythm of not being pregnant anymore and taking care of a baby and such like that, um, I'll definitely be more active on this channel, I promise. So anyways, to answer the rest of that question is, do you miss riding Trigger in June? How's June? I absolutely miss, miss, miss riding all of my horses, honestly. And yes, I miss riding June. So with that being said, there's a lot of questions about June and I'll answer those very shortly in this video. 
But I kind of just touched on this with this next question. It says, will you still be filming when your baby is here? And yes, I will still be filming when the baby is here. This channel is going nowhere. I love the community that we have here and I definitely will continue with this community here. So we will still be filming when the baby is here. Next question is, will I ever breed Dinks? So yes, that is in my plans. I want to breed her so badly and I might, might, might have a opportunity here soon. One of Mike's friends has a stud donkey that is really dark, like chocolate that I like that we have now been entertaining. Um, breeding her with so hopefully that happens if it does happen I will likely do that more so in the winter time which will be in a couple months but very exciting so that will be something that I definitely have on the plan so now let's talk about June a little bit because you guys are flooding these questions with why did Junie go away when is she going to be back am I ever getting her back so June is coming back I said that when we actually had her go because she was just leaving at that time for 30 days and at the time when she was going, it was to someone that I didn't even know. It was a recommendation for me. And then she was going to go to my trainer. I met her. Um, her name is Holly. And I had June go there. And I brought you guys to that barn a couple times with me now. And Holly's done such a good job lighting June up, working on her leads, doing drills around the barrel pattern and such that it just felt right to leave June there longer. Because when she was going to come back to my barn, she would just be sitting here in my barn so it just made sense for her to stay there so she has been there ever since and we go and visit her when we bring her her feed and her hay and such so Holly takes really great care of her and she sends me videos and she rides her pretty much Monday through Friday so June is being ridden and worked and she has improved so much with that constant routine riding so I am super super ecstatic to get her back and be able to ride her when I'm done being pregnant and I am so 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 grateful that I found someone like Holly who has the time and is a really skilled rider to put these miles and time on June and work with June the way that I like to work with my horses and the same principles that I like to follow. So this worked out really well. So I'm very excited about June coming home and June will likely be coming home soon. It just didn't make sense to me to have her come home and sit in my barn for months. So she will still come home and she'll sit in my barn for a little bit, but not as much of an extended time frame as she would have if I brought her home after the first 30 days. So I see your guys' comments. I know you guys keep asking about her and wondering when she's coming back. I feel like you guys really think that I have gotten rid of her at this point and just said that she was just going away for a bit, but no, it was really for her greater good because she had her abscess in her eye. So I only had her for a bit before that happened and we had to completely stop riding her. So she went nine months not being ridden, not being worked. So when we were cleared by my vet for her to be able to be worked, I was like, okay, girl, it's time to get back in shape. It's time to get worked out, but I was pregnant, so I couldn't. So that's the full story of why Junie left, where she is and when she's coming back. She will definitely be coming back. It's been a big investment to have her not be here during my pregnancy, but I am so grateful that we decided that we were gonna do this and invest time and money into her to get legged up and get worked on some of her skills. So super exciting. So yeah, she will be coming home. Don't worry, you guys. I know I see the comments. You guys want her home. I want her home too, but it's gonna be so good for her and it's actually gonna be a really good transition for me able to get back in the saddle to riding my horses a lot sooner because all my horses are really good about that. I can jump on Trigger right now and he'd be perfectly fine. Cash, Blaze, same thing. The only one that was out of commission for a really long time who just needed more time would be June. So all is well, June is coming home. <laughs> Sorry it was so long winded, but I know I keep seeing you guys asking me about her. So I don't want you guys to think that she's never coming back and I'm just hiding it. Next question is, will you get Nigerian dwarf goats? Guys, I really want some, but you guys need to sound off in the comments because we need to convince Mike. Mike was the goat man. He wanted the goats before we even ever got Minnie and Willie. And then I pushed for Oreo, but he's fine with the amount of goats that we have. And I would love to have a little Nigerian dwarf goat, but gotta get them on board. So I don't know, because actually my real plan is to breed my goats. So I don't think I wanna add any more goats realistically, like without breeding mine. I would like the ones that I add to be the ones that are the offspring of Minnie and Oreo. So we'll see. So this next question, um, no one ever really asked me this, but I often imply this. Um, the question is, am I a Christian? So the answer is yes, my faith is really important to me. So I will never deny that. I don't even wanna avoid that question. I was actually just scrolling and 
I pick just random questions as I go. I scroll and I just pick. And then I saw that one and I kept scrolling and I was like, you know what, I need to just answer that because I never wanna avoid that question. But yes, my faith is really important to me and I am a Christian. Next question is, when am I going to see my cows next? So very, very soon. And I'm actually going to bring you guys along with me because the last couple times that I went, I haven't brought you guys with me. So my plan is hopefully, fingers crossed, before this baby gets here to go see the cows and bring you guys along. So make sure that you are keeping your post notifications on so you don't miss that one. So I have rapid fire done so many questions on here because I wanted to just answer a bunch of stuff that you guys are asking, like the majority of like the same questions. So the last one that I keep seeing is, am I going to show my baby on social media? And I figure that it's a good one to wrap this up because you guys have come along for so much of my life the past like three to four years. I show you guys a good amount of everything that I possibly can, but I still like to keep it light and fun and a happy place here on my channel. So you guys don't see like 100%, you guys don't even see 90%, you really probably see about 30-ish, maybe 20% of my life, the parts that I think would be fun and entertaining for you guys on this channel, just to keep this a really happy space. Now with the baby, I have chosen to move everything over to my vlog channel as far as like the pregnancy goes and keeping things more light and still on this channel and focus on the animals because this is a huge part of my life. The animals right now in my life are like 80% of my life. Now when the baby comes, obviously there's gonna be like a 50, 50% here or probably actually more like 40% animals of my life and 60% baby in the rest of my life just that that's how that's gonna go. But they're still a huge part of my life because this is what I love. This is like, I feel like my purpose in life is the animals. So where I'm kind of going down this rabbit hole is that social media is a huge part of that because I've had my life on social media for the last like four years, but not my complete life. So that's where I'm getting at with this. So I likely will not be having the baby on social media. So I just wanna put that out there this space right here on my main channel is about animals and it's about my life owning animals and i want to entertain you guys i want to educate you guys i want to advocate for animals and that's what i want to do on this channel and i really don't want to put my baby on this channel so maybe here and there you'll see the baby meet the animals but you'll see maybe just like the baby's feet or something like that i will not be showing the baby's face in the beginning um that's where my head is at right now is keeping the baby not on social media, but you guys will definitely, in a way, meet the baby and we'll get there when we get there. And when I do introduce the baby to all of the animals, I will promise that, because I keep seeing you guys wanting to know how that's gonna work, that there will be a way that we will make it work without putting the baby directly on social media. So I hope that answers that question and I hope you guys can really just respect that and understand that the internet can be kind of like a weird and scary place and there's so many different opinions on that. Um, but yeah, I just think that it's best to keep it separate and keep this channel really fun just about animals like I want it to be and have this community that we have had years that we've built together. And I like to keep this channel a safe place where we can communicate and hang out and talk and talk animals. So that's what's really fun to me. So that's what we're gonna keep on doing. So yeah, this was a really long video, but there was a lot of questions and I wanted to answer them for you. It's pretty late, it's 8.30. The horses are eating dinner. Mike's actually across the way. He's taking care of the pigs and the goats. And yeah, we're pretty much done with our night here, but I wanted to get this video out for you guys. And I'm excited that I get to post on my birthday. So I love you guys. Make sure that if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel down below, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. If you have any more questions, of course, leave them in the comments down below and I will answer them down there. Are right, you guys? Well, I love you and I will see you in the next one.